What is going on everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're gonna go over on how to create and sell digital products on WooCommerce. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but e-commerce has been booming lately. More and more people are buying digital products than ever before, and it's been a booming market. You can sell all sorts of stuff, ranging from courses to eBooks. There's really so much potential out there. And with WooCommerce being one of the most popular platforms out there, it makes it a no brainer for e-commerce capability. So today we're gonna go over on how to create and sell your first digital product with WooCommerce. So let's get right into it. Now, because this is a step-by-step -step tutorial, if you guys do want to follow along, there is going to be a link down in the description, and it's also going to give you guys a 71% discount, which is going to be really nice for you. And once you guys click on the link, you guys can see that you're receiving 71% off with WooCommerce hosting. So let's go ahead and claim this deal. And there's going to be three different plans here for us, business, cloud startup, and cloud professional. Honestly, for most of you guys watching this video, the business plan is going to do just fine because it has a ton of features built into it with WordPress and WooCommerce, so you can't really go wrong with it. But if you do want to see other features that are included, you can scroll down here as well and you can see all the features that are included in there. However, for most small and nimble teams, the business plan makes the most amount of sense. So let's go ahead and choose this one. Boom. And there's going to be different options here in terms of that period of time that we're going to sign up for, ranging from one month to 48 months. I personally suggest to either choose the 12, 24, 48 month option just because the one month option is going to be quite expensive. And look, honestly, with building and hosting a website, it's kind of a long term play. So you're probably going to do it multiple times and having good and quality hosting is going to be a no brainer for you guys. So let's go ahead and go with the 12 month version. We are getting the 71% discount here. Press continue and let's go ahead and answer some of the basic information regarding our first last name and payment information. Boom, right over here, hosting is going to ask us a couple questions if we're interested in migrating or creating a website. Let's go ahead and say create, but you can choose either option. Let's press next. We're going to have this WordPress admin email and let's go ahead and choose our password. Awesome. And now since we are going to be selling digital products, we do want to select the online store option here and let's go ahead and press next. And what I would personally do is just go to themes and WooCommerce's like top theme is if we scroll down right over here, it's going to be storefront, which is going to be the best default theme for you guys. And you can customize the top of it. So let's go ahead and press next. And a lot of these plugins are going to be really useful when it comes to anything e-commerce related. But again, you can always add more if needed. Let's go ahead and press next. Now we're going to be selling funny cat pictures. I've been loving those recently. And again, description can be funny cat pics. Ha ha ha. Right. Let's go ahead and press next. And we're going to use a temporary domain here. And from here, you can select where most of your audience is, and that can help with the back end of your guys' setup. So let's press next here, and it's installing WordPress and setting it up for us, making it super easy and doing most of the heavy lifting. Boom, and from here is gonna show us all the hosting your settings, but we do really care about WordPress and WooCommerce, so let's go ahead and see that. And all we gotta do is just press the admin panel right over here. Alrighty, now most of the settings when it comes to WooCommerce or anything e-commerce related are gonna be here on the left-hand side, where we can monitor their orders, customers' reports, those sorts of things. Let's go ahead and press right over here here. And if you guys scroll down right over here, you can actually see add products. Let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and have the description of our product be best cat picks that will make you laugh. And let's go ahead and help AI create a product description here. Boom. And remember, you can always edit this if you want, but this gives you guys a good starting ground. And right over here, this is going to be a really important part. Make sure to select virtual and downloadable because again, this is going to be digital products. So you're not going to have shipping associated with it. Let's go ahead and press virtual and downloadable. And our price is going to be $100 and it's going to be on sale. So $1, right? That's going to be the sales price. Pretty good discount. And we're going to go ahead and add a file, right? So whenever you purchase, that's the file you're going to get since this is a digital product product. So again, it can be all sorts of files. In our case, it's going to be this cute little PNG of a cat. Alrighty, let's go ahead and select this file right over here. And we're going to have download limit of one and um, it's never going to expire, right? But again, you guys can set this to whatever you guys want. And in terms of inventory, right, you can always have a SKU associated with a product to see how much it's selling, right? To be able to track anything. Again, stock management, not really needed because it is going to be a digital product. You can have in stock or out of stock to make sure we can kind of control the supply and demand here. And we can also limit purchases to one per item. Awesome. Now from here, you can go ahead and kind of control upsells or cross sell depending on what you're selling and if it makes sense, which can be really useful in order to increase your guys' average order volume. And if your product does have different colors or shapes or sizes, different things like that, you can control it through different attributes, but it doesn't really apply through us here 
because we're selling this one cute cat photo. And again, there's a lot more settings when it comes to advance or get more options, but we're not gonna go through it because all you kind of need, we already went over. You can also go ahead and kind of add a product description here, right, with different forms, media, whatever you guys want it to be. So let's go ahead and save draft right over here. And boom, now we're ready to publish and see how it looks. And as you guys can see, we can see our discount, right? You can add to cart, right? And if you guys would like, you can even add a category here as well, depending on what you guys are selling. It's gonna be right over here on the right-hand side. There's gonna be a description, you can write reviews, but a lot of those things can be done whenever you guys modify the website through WordPress. And if we go back to WooCommerce, let's go ahead and go home. The other thing that's important is to make sure that people, you can actually collect payments. So something that I would do is scroll down right here at the very bottom, go to payments. So I'll go ahead and set up Woo payments, just press install. Alrighty, let's go ahead and connect it to our store here. From here on, let's go ahead and create a profile for Woo Payments. Press continue. And from here, you guys are gonna receive an email with sign up instructions. It's gonna be really straightforward and you guys are gonna be ready to get your payments going in no time. And there you guys have it. That's how you create and sell a digital product with WooCommerce. Again, there's gonna be a ton of other variables that you wanna have under control as well, such as marketing or your guys' website. But WooCommerce is a very powerful solution because it's able to track your guys' orders, customers, payments, all within one platform. And the coolest part about it is that it's connected to WordPress, which has a ton of plugins that can pretty much do anything for you guys' business. Again, if you guys do wanna try out WooCommerce, please make sure to go through the link down in the description because it gives you guys a tremendous discount and it heavily supports the channel. I hope you guys been able to get some value out of this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.